Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Mushkin PC2 4200 memory. The speed on this memory is 533 MHz DDR2 or PC2 4200 with a CES of 3 and a complete memory timing of 3, 2, 2 and 8. Now what does DDR and CES mean. DDR stands for double data rate and that means it doubles the bandwidth of the memory by transferring data twice as fast on both the rising and the falling of the clock cycle. CES stands for column access select or column access strobe and that essentially means the number of cycles for the memory to get information and then process that information. Also keep in mind that a lower CES is much better than a higher CES, so try and keep the CES as low as possible when overclocking. This memory is also dual channel, which means better overall memory bandwidth resulting in superior performance. But in order to benefit from this technology, you will need to have a dual channel motherboard. Non-dual channel motherboards do not have two fully independent 64-bit memory controllers, but dual channel boards do, which means they have a 128-bit memory interface. Now they can be installed singly, but obviously the performance will be much less at the same megahertz. Remember, this is DDR2 memory, and it does differ from DDR memory in a number of ways. Now let me briefly hit on some of these differences. Well, the maximum data rate is different, 400 megahertz for DDR, versus 667 megahertz for DDR2, the bus frequency 200 versus 333, the DRAM frequency 200 versus 166, the package type for DDR it's TSOP2 and for DDR2 it's FBGA. The voltage is different as well, 2.5 versus 1.8 and the prefetch size is different, 2 bits versus 4 bits. And the CS latency will vary quite a bit, but in general 2.5 for DDR and 4 for DDR2. The on-die termination is different as well. To eliminate signal noise, DDR uses transistors that are on the motherboard, whereas DDR2 it's on the memory chip. And the off-chip driver calibration on DDR2 memory also increases signal integrity. These 240 pin DDR2 DIMMs look a lot like the 184 pin DDR DIMMs. They are approximately the same size but on the 240 pin DDR2 DIMMs the notch which is right here is closer to the center of the module and please keep in mind that DDR2 memory is not backward compatible and will only fit in motherboards specifically designed for it. Something else interesting about DDR2 memory is it consumes 28% less power than the first generation DDR and this means higher clock speeds and reduced latencies. As I mentioned before, the overall memory timing on this memory is fantastic at 3, 2, 2 and Eight. DDR2 memory continues to get faster and faster. This kit is one gigabyte comprised of two modules of 512 megabytes each. Again the speed is 533 megahertz DDR2. It's 240 pin unbuffered non-ECC memory with a voltage of 1.8 and comes with a lifetime warranty. Also note that it has aluminum heat spreaders on each module, which helps dissipate the heat.
It's great to see DDR2 memory improving when it comes to the timings. The timing on this memory is simply fantastic and as you can clearly see from the results it is extremely fast. Overall this is a kick-ass product. Again my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com and while you're there you can go to the forums and register and remember registration is completely free. Also keep in mind you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgameman.com. Until next time, take care.